It's April, and in America, that means tax season. And as Benjamin Franklin said, in this world, nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes. And I'd argue maybe Transformers movies. But what are taxes, and why do we have them? So we were going to do a normal tangent video on like taxes, but it turns out taxes are kind of boring. Like every recorded civilization has had taxes. To quote Oliver Wendell Holmes, taxes are what we pay for a civilized society. So instead, we were going to try something different and just list off some funny facts about tax. Tax facts. Facts tax. Tax fact. Facts tax. We'll come up with a cool title right now. Tax Here are some things that have a lower word count than the U.S. tax code. The combined works of the Iliad and the Odyssey, the Bible, the Harry Potter series, and Fifty Shades of Grey. I have only read one of those books. The ancient Greeks had an interesting tax policy called Isphora. Isphora. I can just put it, put it underneath. I'll keep going. Uh, in this policy, they would tax the wealthy, but only in times of war, and then would actually repay them with the spoils of victory. Something tells me that Leonidas didn't get his cut back. Now let's talk about the beard tax. You might be saying, which beard tax? But more likely you're saying, there was more than one beard tax? In England, in 1535, the bearded King Henry VIII instituted a beard tax to ensure that a man's facial hair would match his social status. I'm probably just slightly above a serf at this point. Meanwhile, in 1700s Russia, Peter the Great and Beardless, though he did have a sweet stash. Look at that stash. That stash is dope. That's a good stash. Check out that. Like, it's a nice stash. I'm just saying, like, people don't rock stashes like that anymore. That's a, that's a, that's a, it's, a good, it's a good mustache, all right? He introduced the opposite beard tax. He wanted everyone to be clean-shaven because he thought that the clean-shaven man represented a modern society. If you're not getting a theme through this, this show yet, like, everything's been taxed at some point. The Rosetta Stone even mentions taxes, and I'm not talking about the computer program that I'm going to use as a write-off on my taxes for learning Spanish. It's mucho gusto. We're talking about the stone slab that let modern scientists translate ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. It's basically a piece of propaganda from the Egyptian pharaoh in 196 BC. It tells the temple priests all the great things that the pharaoh has done for them, one of which is exempting them from taxes. The Boston Tea Party was an inciting moment for the American Revolution, when the Americans pushed back against paying taxes on tea imposed by the British. Today I bought a tea at the store and paid sales tax. The 24th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution outlawed poll taxes, a common practice used to suppress the underprivileged vote. But one state still has a poll tax, Texas. They just spell it differently and use it for different stuff. This fact will soon be out of date because I bet half the people watching don't get newspapers. The newspaper format that you know, called Broad Street, is due to taxes. In 1712, the British Crown decided to levy a tax on newspapers based on the page count. In response, newspaper printers just started printing on bigger pages, making them able to deliver the same amount of news in less pages. Well, that was a fun list. Let us know if you like this format or you want us to go back to the other one. If you didn't like this format, don't worry, we've already filmed the next one. If you did like this format, we already filmed the next one, so it's not, it's going to be the old way. But all this talk of taxes has really gotten me thinking, I should probably get paid sometime soon, right? Hey, John. John? Hey, John. Hello? Guys?